Welcome back. Today we're going to be heading to Alaska and we're heading up to the top of those mountains up there in search for some grizzly bear. We didn't even get to our location yet and we already just jumped up two grizzly along the way here down on the bottom of this river bottom. So things are looking pretty solid so far. All right, we got fresh tracks going right through here. So there's a pretty good chance we should be able to kick them up. Ooh, in fact, we got them right there. That is a different bear. It's not the one that we jumped up. I was right. We jumped up two female. This is a male grizzly. And the fact that he's drinking right there is super awesome because it is 630 in the morning. Um, we don't have any zone where he's drinking at. So I'm not sure like what the deal with this is here, but it's pretty cool. Okay. We got a female there and there's the male. What's happening here is he's quartered directly away from us. Now, he's 250 yards out, so he's for surely in range. And because he's quartered away, we could go for that shot. What we can do is hold it right behind that front shoulder. Right there. And that was, in fact, a perfect shot. Because he's going down. Very nice. First grizzly down with the AR 300 Magnum. And we're not even to our spot yet. All right, we took the shot right here. It's a vital hit. And he should be down right around this corner. I forgot, they actually run a pretty good ways with the AR 300. But in this case here, I think we did get a double lung shot. Uh, we did get a left lung as well as a stomach shot, which is pretty much equivalent to a double lung shot. Ordering away, nice shot there, 160 yards. And he was a 60.7, so just shy of gold. But nice male grizzly is down. Oh, we're heading up this hill and we just got eyes on a grizzly right there. It's a female, but we had a track from another male nearby. Now I'm not sure if we should go for a shot on this female here or try and potentially spot the male. Not that it really makes much difference because the track from our male is not very big, but it's still a male. However, I think what we're probably going to do in this case here is go for a shot on this female. She's quartered kind of directly at us, but we could hold right below the neck and try and catch heart at about 250 yards. Now we gotta wait until she picks up her head. Just like that. Perfect shot. We got her. And we could kick up that male any second here, so we gotta be ready. Well, we got a female calling over there, and if she's there, then there's a good chance our male should be over there as well. Although I'm not seeing him. Again, we're only seeing this one bear, but she is right there 180 yards out and I don't think we're to be passing that shot up. Unless we happen to spot him right here somewhere. Uh, nope. All right, let's go for a shot. Boy, that shot looked good. Real good. She's still running though. Not anymore. Still, absolutely no sign of this other male. I have no clue where he's at. Not only that, I just realized that we may have lost our first one. Because it should have been... Oh, there it is right there. Okay. Wait, that is not our bear, but that is. All right. So we'll pick up this female. We'll grab the other one and then continue on along the way. Perfect double lung and heart shot at 218 yards on that female. Yeah, usually we'll get lucky and find some good bear along the edge of this uh, mountain here. A lot of times you'll find some bison up here too, which is super cool. Especially when they get surrounded by wolves, because then you're hunting for the bison and the wolves are trying to hunt for you and it just becomes a super exciting hunt. But here is this grizzly laying right here let alone laying right here yet alone 
we don't have the other male but that was a beautiful 173 yard shot centered lung got him a little bit higher than what i would have liked i would have liked to bend more lower um towards the heart but still a great shot still a real great shot yeah last time we were over here we kicked up a bunch of level sixes and then there was even a big mythical here so you never know what we're gonna find also last time we kind of just ran through here and didn't really scope it out this time we're hunting it really really hard all right this should be and it's yet again another female grizzly track but we also have a track from a decent male fox here which we happen to have the ar223 that we could for surely use on him looks like we may even have another fox right here as well yep that's a female so basically slot Ooh, that's a nice male fox that's actually a max weight male fox track right there uh so five is the ar223 and then six is the ar308 of course one is the 300 ar and that might be our male that might be our male but we're way too close so we're not going to be able to sneak up on it right now since we are less than 100 yards out we're gonna have to jump it up and see if we can't get eyes on it when he's taking off oh we can get eyes on that one right there. oh my god holy oh two of them two of them oh wow two grizzly going down the mountain two grizzly just got absolutely smoked going down the mountain wow a female and our male just piled up right there incredible holy man they came flying out around that corner we were, it was interesting because we spotted a female grizzly and then seconds later that male came right over the top of the hill straight for us then the female came as well and we ended up taking down both of them but I'm pretty sure our male is right here. Yep, there he is right there. Let's take a look at that. A running 60 yard shot right to the lung there at 56.22. He's not a very big male, but he is a male. And that's pretty cool to take him on the run wide open with the new AR 300 Magnum. All right, now let's go over here and grab the female, which I'm pretty sure she piled up on top of this mountain here. But then we can go over that corner and be able to find the other bear. Oh yeah, this bear didn't go 15 yards right here. This bear got smoked. We didn't hit it that good, but we did get a follow-up shot there. Epic shot on the run, lung and liver. It's gonna be a 51 scoring female, pretty decent sized female. Now let's go over here and try and find this other grizzly. All right, so according to our hunter mate here, it looks like the bear was right around this corner here. Is that it? that is yet another grizzly that's not even the grizzly that we're looking for all right so this one's out here 250 yards facing directly at us and we're not going to go for a hard shot because that's a little too risky but what we are going to do is see if we can't get his attention and then go for a hard shot perfect shot and we dropped him hey we got caribou down there Ooh, lots of caribou here. That's a pretty big one. That's kind of a giant. I mean, for a four, that is pretty big. All right, tell you what, we're going to actually go for a shot with the AR-308 from right here. Just because that is a pretty big one. And we'll go for a hard shot as well, because why not? Not really going to have to go look for him. We'll just go down there and find him in a little bit here. Got that one down there. Surprisingly, we didn't get any eyes on any grizzly taken off through here, even though for sure there should have been some. All right, here's this one laying right here. As a matter of fact, it should be a hard shot. Yes, it was. 268 yards right through the center of the heart and at 56.4. Again, not a very big one, but again, a male. Again, not a very big one, but it is a male. All right, let's get down here and go take a look at our bull caribou. He's a solid one, so he's definitely worth going after. Although I really don't want to go all the way down there. So what we might end up doing 
Uh, yeah. Well, tell you what. We'll come back and check on that caribou in a little bit. But for now, there goes the bull. Not super impressive, but... Oh, we smoked him, though. That first shot was money, luckily. Because after that, he was gone. Not a big bull, but it was a bull. And actually, I kind of don't mind this tent sitting here. What a view, huh? We could just sit here and scout out some huge grizzly from way up top. All right, anyways, we're gonna grab the ATV, and fly down there and grab our bowl. It seems pretty smooth too, so we should be able to just fly straight down this mountain. Maybe get a little bit of air. Holy! Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah, that's a big bull and a double lung heart shot. 371 gold. Wow, that's a massive, massive bull. But straight through the heart and the bottom of the lung at 270 yards. We gotta move this. I mean, we could just like leave it here and go back to the tent. But the problem is, then we'll go up there and we'll have an ATV down here which will prevent some of the animals coming back. So we don't want that. In that case, we'll drive it up here a little ways, bury it behind a tree, and um, then we'll fast travel back up there. All right, I think we'll leave it right about here. Perfect. So then we can fast travel real quick. All right, so I know we hit that bull right about here. That means there should be some blood right there. Right there, and he ran out across this way. Well, let's check this blood out here. Water eight medium, looks pretty solid. It was a vital hit. And he should be down right around this point. Yep, there he is down right over there. Well, let's take a look at this bull. Oof, it was a running liver stomach shot at 235 yards and a 150. We'll take it. I am so dumb. We came over this hill here and I thought, man, it looks good for Grizzly. Well, we jumped up this guy. It was a huge seven. He was right down in the bottom of this ravine. And now we're going to have to take a running shot once he goes over this next ridge. Unless we get lucky enough where he slows down, which that could be the case, but I don't know. I really don't know. All right, well, right there, he's about 250 yards out. Oh, that was almost a shot. Nope. Son of a... He just calmed down right over that ridge, too. So if you look at the map, you can see we're on the very bottom end over here. We just set up the tent here. We took down that... Uh, Nice caribou here, as well as the two grizzly over here. Actually, no, we took down the moose right here. We just tracked that moose down. Got to this opening here, and I was thinking, man, there should be some grizzly out here. But there was nothing out here for miles. Like, you could see everything. I even just decided to take a shot randomly just to make sure that there was nothing over here. And sure enough, there was a huge level 7 grizzly right here, just on the edge of this brush. And, uh, well, we jumped him up. All right, so he's got to be like right there. If I had to guess, that's where he probably should be by now. Because we spotted him like right here. Once he went over that hill. Yeah, he should be around here somewhere. And like I was saying before, the good thing is we can see a long ways from up here. So even if he does happen to turn back around, we should be able to spot him. That's him for sure. Uh, where was he though? Unbelievable. Whoa, 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 whoa. How the heck did one get over here now? Could that be him? Did he circle around us? Maybe. Dude, if he's going this way, it's actually going to be a pretty good setup. The weird part is I didn't see any more tracks. I only saw that one track. Oh, there we go. There's tracks. It's him. That's our bear. So he's going right back to where we initially jumped him up over there. See? Yep. 
There's his old track, and here is his fresh track headed that direction there. We got eyes on some caribou out there. Alright, let's stop getting distracted. Which way is he going? Ah, oh, he's going this way. Okay. Old tracks there. But then fresh tracks here. He's backtracking. That's exactly what he's doing. He's backtracking, guys. So then those are old tracks. Yep. Alright, he's backtracking, but he's going downhill. He's not exactly going to where we initially jumped him up. Or maybe he might end up even turning back to where he was in the beginning. We just kicked up a cow moose right there. Ooh, it looks like that might be the case. Yep, he's going right back to where he was. He's going right back to where he was. Got another bear taken off down there. Not sure what that was, but... We should probably go check that out in a second. Um, hold up. Let's mark where that last track was there. From that bear. And then this one here. Oh, what do we got out there? Oh my god, we found him, you guys. What the heck are the odds of that? He's bedded out there. At about 400 yards. Right there. Big old level 7 male grizzly. Holy, that's a long ways out there. Oh, we found him. And we're going to be going for a shot. I think what we'll do is hold right on the top shoulder and lung area to compensate for a little bit of drop. Oh, it looked good, but it's not. I don't know what we hit, you guys. I don't know what we hit, and the fact that we can't even see where we spotted him here is not super exciting to me either. I mean, I didn't necessarily love the angle that we had to work with, but it was better than nothing. Oh, I felt confident that we hit something good. I don't think we would have dropped too low. Because if he was 450 plus, then we would have dropped low, but he wasn't 450 plus, so... I don't know what happened with that shot. However, we don't have hunting pressure, so we didn't get it. I'm hoping that we didn't hit it in the vertebrae. That's the one thing I'm hoping. Because if we hit that thing in the vertebrae, he's going down no matter what. Well, the good news is we just checked the map and we don't have any hunting pressure here. So that means it's not going to take him down. Ooh, we jumped up a female. I guess that's probably the track that we had from the other grizzly. But right now we're going to ease our way over here and see if we can't get a follow up on this bear. Yeah, he was right down here. Ooh, this snow may help us out in finding him. Nothing like tracking down a wounded grizzly, huh? Alright, so there goes the female. We should probably take her down. Got her. Now that is a max weight fox track. I haven't seen a track that big in three years. I'm playing Call of the Wild. So I know we're tracking down our grizzly. But this fox is taking priority as of now. It's pretty much guaranteed either a mythical or a nine legendary. There's nothing else that that could be. Like the odds of it being a seven is super, super unlikely. Now that track there I do believe is probably from our grizzly. And it looks like he cut right. At the last second here. Oh yeah, he did. <sighs> Man, we were down on the bottom of the river bottom looking for him. We couldn't find him. And that's because he cut up. He stayed up on the high grounds. He didn't want to go down there. Oh man. 
Oh my god, you won't believe where we just found this huge grizzly. We're right out here in the very beginning where we initially spotted this grizzly. Except for it was back there about four or five hundred yards. Now we're on the opposite mountain here. And he's right down here in the bottom of this wide open valley. Look at that right there. He's 350 yards away, perfectly broadside. And he's still at zero percent. So we're going to go for a shot right there. And he's down. Oh, we jumped up something down over there. I'm not even sure what that was. But this moose here is going to be a bonus as well. And he's a solid looking one too. We tried for a heart shot. Should have absolutely smoked him. And we did. Which he is going to take off now. Fox, fox, fox. Remember, we still have that max weight fox track down here somewhere. We don't know how big it is, so I definitely want to try and find that track. But for now, our bull moose is piled up right there, and so is our big grizzly. I'm more curious about finding out where we hit on that first shot when we took at about 400 yard on that grizzly bear. But look at this incredible view here. I mean, how cool is that? The fact that I was hoping we'd find something down in this opening here. We didn't find anything at first, aside from the fact that we did jump up that grizzly in the beginning down over there. Now we happen to spot him right out in this wide open canyon. What an incredible view. Hold up, hold up. There's another grizzly here, you guys. There's another grizzly down here. No way. All right, well, we can go for a shot on him too. And that's going to be it. Hold on a second. We took down two. Ah, that's because this isn't the initial spot we hit that grizzly. We initially hit the grizzly over here. That's why the hunting pressure is there. Or maybe it was here. No, it was here, actually. It was right here. Yep, because that's where we had the fox track. He was 420 yards out right there, and now this female grizzly is 280 yards. We're going to try and catch the bottom of the heart. Definitely smoked it, but didn't get the heart. Man, I love this AR-300. It really has an incredible amount of knockdown power. Oh, there goes our fox. It's a female, we could go for a shot, but we're not going to because we already have a track from a max weight fox that we're soon to go check out. Man, I'm kind of excited to come back here another time and potentially be able to find some more grizzly up in these mountains. Well, the moment of truth is happening right now. It's going to be a 62.92 gold. And that shot was a vertebrae shot. Holy, we got lucky. We got lucky, but not lucky at the same time. That was a 420 yard shot and we didn't get any drop at all. But not only that, we almost had a perfect neck shot and we almost had a top of the lung shot there, but we hit absolutely nothing. If we would have dropped a little bit lower, I don't think we would have hit long. I think the problem is we would have had to have been off to the left side or the right side here. If we were lower and a little bit more right, we probably would have got long, but yep, that's exactly what I thought happened. We hit him right in the no zone, as in there's absolutely no organs where we hit. But I'll tell you one thing though, if you hit a bear there with a 300 AR, he is not going very far. In fact, he's probably going to pile right up. But our follow-up shot connected at 359 yards and we pulled off a perfect lung shot. It is going to be a gold 62.92. So a very nice big male grizzly down with a new AR 300 Magnum. Well, it's not super new. It's been out for a month or so, but... I mean, it's still pretty new. 
And here's our bull moose. He was actually a solid bull as well. I believe he had a minimum estimate of 175. And we pulled off a pretty good shot. Let's pick him up and find out. It's going to be a shoulder lung shot. 189. A couple points shy of gold. But that shot was going straight for the heart. Looks like it hit that shoulder and stopped it almost instantly. However, the shot was almost 400 yards. So that does make sense. And here's our last grizzly bear piled up on top of this mountain here. Just about made it to the top of this ravine and ended up right here. Let's pick it up. It's going to be a 277 yard shot right to the lung. It's almost like she could see the shot coming. Did you guys notice that? Her head was like straight up in the air. And it kind of seemed like she could see it coming. Hold up. Hold up. We got not a... Hold up. Hold up. We got eyes on not just one, not just two, but three more grizzly. There's one right there. And there's a big seven there as well. And another one there. And we got a call from a fox as well. Holy. I'd like to find out how big that fox is. And the thing is, we actually came over here to track down that max weight fox. But then we got eyes on another bull moose. Not a big one though. However, I'm for surely interested Okay, we're getting a call from a different fox. Now that could be the fox that we want. Um, I don't believe we have the caller on us right now. No, we don't. We don't even have the tent because we have it set up on that mountain there. And it's actually a good thing that we left the tent there. Oh, 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 there he is. It's a huge mythical, a huge mythical. Oh, he's cutting through right there. He's cutting through right there. Let's get ready. All right, he's about 225 yards right there. Smoked him! Woo! What a nice fox, and I don't think that's going to spook our grizzly either. Well, it for surely got his attention. Let's just say that. But we got the AR-300, so once he turns broadside... Oh, never mind. He calmed down. Wow, what a giant fox. I'm so glad we already spotted him. We don't have to go all the way back down there to track him down. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ooh, he is absolutely smoked. And he's going down right there. All right, he's down. Now we should probably take down this grizzly as well. And we're gonna try for a heart shot. Oh, it had potential. Didn't connect, but it absolutely just smoked that grizzly. I'd say we probably hit it right in the front shoulder and it would have hit heart, but the shoulder stopped it. But she just piled up. We'll let this grizzly stay here for now. And another fox over there that we'll let stay as well as that bull. Holy water rush. We came over here to track down our big grizzly. And not only did we find him, but we found yet another huge grizzly and that max weight fox. Well, the max weight fox is a huge mythical and he's piled up right over here. Yeah, that's the biggest fox we've seen in a good while. A good, good while. Now imagine trying to track down this thing without having tracks on. Mainly because of the fact that it blends right in with this red brush. Although that white belly sticks out for quite a ways, I'll tell you that. There he is, it's gonna be a 13.69 gold. And he's a huge mythical 30 pounder, as a matter of fact. A perfect double lung shot at 180 yards on the walk. But a beautiful mythical fox. 
In here lays our big grizzly, our big level seven male grizzly as well. Let's take a look at him. It's going to be a 62.28 gold and we pulled off a 288 yard perfect lung shot. Tried for heart, but more so just hit beautifully centered in the middle of the lung. So and here is going to be our other big male grizzly. It's going to be a 62.28 gold. That was a 288 yard perfect lung shot right behind the front shoulder and dead center in the middle of the lung. We got him a little bit higher than what I was hoping for, but still made a perfect shot. What a huge grizzly down again in Alaska. Man, I absolutely love hunting these mountains here for these grizzly. I'm not sure if they were always here or if it just became a new thing, but this is definitely going to be my new go-to way of hunting these. Even though now you can actually hunt them during drink time, which is between uh, 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the morning, I'd much rather hunt them in the mountains. It's so much more surreal. All right, we got one more grizzly piled up down over here. We're going to pick him up and take a look. I believe it was a female. All right, we got this last grizzly over here as well. And now we're going to pick it up to take a look. I bet we hit it right low in that front shoulder and it stopped it. Yep. That's exactly what happened, you guys. Literally, couldn't have been a much more perfectly placed shot than that. And not only that, we hit the bottom of the shoulder as well. So if anything, that's probably the weakest part of that shoulder blade. And it still stopped it from going right to the heart. Absolutely perfect, perfect shot. But it couldn't quite make it there. Either way, it took down this bear and ended up being a pretty incredible moment. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Let me know if you guys try out this spot and have any luck here as well, because I'd love to hear your feedback.